Welcome back students. In this video, we're going to look at an addition reaction called hydrogenation. In the hydrogenation reaction, what is happening is you are adding hydrogen along with a catalyst to an alkene. When you add that hydrogen along with the catalyst to an alkene, you are seeing H and H add across the pi bond. So your alkene is turning into an alkane. Let's look at the catalyst that you use in order to make this reaction work. One of the things that you might get confused about is seeing multiple different catalysts that can be used. So if you used palladium, platinum, nickel, all of these are going to work with the hydrogenation reaction to go ahead and remove that alkene by adding hydrogen across that pi bond. Let's look at the stereochemistry for this reaction. First, I want to show you what these diagrams are showing. Over here with these blue circles, these are showing your metal in its solid state. Remember that I'm looking at atoms here. These atoms are solid, and so they're right next to one another, right? This would be your plat palladium, platinum, nickel catalyst. Your hydrogen essentially adheres to these, this catalyst, and now your alkene can come in from one side and attach itself to the metal catalyst and pick up one of those hydrogens. So when it does that, now we have the metal that's attached to your alkene that just picked up one of the hydrogens. And next what it's gonna do is it's gonna pick up another hydrogen. So maybe it picks up this hydrogen and that hydrogen would then be gone over here. And when it picks up that other hydrogen, it detaches itself from the metal catalyst and now you have your two hydrogens attached. Because of the format of this catalyst and how the catalyst is like a piece of paper and your alkene is coming in from the top, it's going to come in, pull up those hydrogens, and then say, go away. When it does that, the two hydrogens are going to be adding or are forced to add from the same side. Let's see how that plays out in reactions. When we're trying to illustrate that sin addition, we can really beautifully illustrate it if we're given a ring to start with. What we want to do is redraw our structure. And I'm going to draw in the hydrogens, even though those hydrogens are not technically skeletal notation. So let's say that the hydrogen comes in from the top, and so they're both wedge. If those hydrogens are coming in from the top and both wedge, that means that this methyl and this methyl are both going to be dashed. And we should be looking out for enantiomers here. So what I would want you to do is either recognize right away that this is a meso compound or a meso compound and does not have a set of enantiomers because there's an internal plane of symmetry, or what you could do if you didn't see that right off the bat is draw the so-called enantiomer. I paused because it's not really an enantiomer. Right, draw that. You want to draw in the hydrogens, that's fine too. And then look at them and see what their relationship is to each other. And if you look at them, what you can do is, along this line, rotate it so that your methyls that are coming out of the plane of the page go behind the plane of the page by rotating by 180 degrees and then place it on top of the first molecule and go, huh, those are the same. So you would only draw one of them, right? So you wouldn't draw this second structure. Now in the next one, I changed from two methyls to a methyl and an ethyl. Now in this case, I'm going to draw a little bit less. I'm not gonna draw the hydrogens in what I'm going to do is draw my skeleton and say, hey, because those hydrogens are coming from the same face, they're going to force these two groups to be on the same face. So those two groups are both going to be wedged or they're both going to be dashed. And so I don't like to draw in the hydrogens because it makes it muddy. And I'm going to abbreviate methyl and ethyl as ET for ethyl and methyl is ME. And now I'm going to show how they could both be dashed. 
Again, I want to do the same thing and assess, are these the same compound or are these enantiomers and I should draw both of them. In order to do that, you can draw this line and do the rotation and see that they do not coincide. So they are enantiomers. You get a racemic mixture. Remember, a racemic mixture is 50-50 of each of the enantiomers and you're going to draw both as your products. Let's wrap up. In this video, we looked at hydrogenation reactions. We said that H and H, so two H's, add across the pi bond in a format of syn addition. What that means is that your hydrogens are adding from the same face, and so you have to watch out for the possibility of enantiomers. We also said that you could use a variety of catalysts, including nickel, platinum, and palladium. Thanks so much for watching. This is Katoni signing out.